in today's video, we are trying a famous fast food restaurant called Dandan Dan Burger or Dandan Dan Hanbao that's only available in the south of Taiwan. It has ridiculously high reviews and ratings. It's so popular that locals are always sure to make a stop on their visit to the south. It combines western fast food with Taiwanese street food at the most affordable pricing. I mean, really. McDonald's who? Okay, everyone, I'm sitting down right now. I have the meal right next to me. I am salivating. I'm so excited. I want to say before we start that there is indeed a long line. Well, now that I live in New York, whenever I go to Shake Shack, there's a long line. The line here is even longer. I, I know, it's crazy. Um, but they have a pretty good system. They have a guy coming around with a menu, and you get to place your order in advance before you get to the cashier. So it's pretty good. I saw the menu and I just ordered a ton of stuff. Now, I did get stuff that, you know, is not really the common Western fast food like chicken nuggets or hot dogs, um, although they all have that. Uh, I actually ordered some more of the special Taiwanese street food slash fast food type of foods. So here we go. Let's start with the first one. So the first item we're trying, and if you guys watched my Taiwan videos, then you know what it is. It is the oyster vermicelli. Except the one here, of course, they're not going to put oyster in their vermicelli at a fast food restaurant. Um, I think they actually have a different... It's either squid in here or it's pork. Uh, let me stir it and let's see what we have here. So I'm stirring and it looks like it has the beautiful wheat noodles. And then it has these large chunks. And I'm not sure what they are. But right away, I could smell this very peppery, savory aroma. I'm going to get a big spoonful with some of that meat, whatever it is, mystery meat, and uh, let's do this. Mm. For a bowl like this, it's 36 NT, which is cheaper than the oyster vermicelli that you get out in the stall. Those are usually about 50 NT. Granted, there's no oysters in here. It's definitely pork, but it's kind of like pork paste um, made into a squid ball-like texture. But I tell you what, the noodle is soft, the soup is thick and savory. Oh wow. The more I eat it, the more I want to finish the whole thing. It's actually quite flavorful. For a dollar at a fast food restaurant? Heck yeah. This is way better than a cup of noodles. Mm. The next item on the menu, and I'm very, very excited about this because I'm always craving this item. When you are in the States and you want to find this particular item, it's about six to seven dollars. But this, this bowl right here, is only a dollar. I know. Let's see what's inside. Oh, all right. Oh my gosh. Oh. The thing you see on top, that golden flaky thing, that's actually pork floss. And then pork floss just adds so much smell and texture and taste to, to any soupy item, especially congee. From one spoonful, I'm trying to see what they have inside. This congee is actually loaded with a ton of stuff. I'm very, very surprised. You can see like from one spoonful, there's so many different colors going on. Wow. This is so good. <laughs> Leaning towards pork um, that's inside and it's got the same squid ball texture where it's very, very chewy. There's corn in here. I think there's some seaweed in here. And of course that pork floss just adds the savory flavor to the congee. You can get congee at a fast food restaurant? McDonald's, where are you at? You gotta add that item. People would flock to McDonald's. <laughs> mm. Wow. I will say there's not much flavor in the sense that it's not salty, it's not leaning towards any kind of other soup. It is just plain congee. There's just a bit of that saltiness from the pork gloss and some texture from the pork and the corn, but it's not like a, you know, like a salty ramen soup. Let's move on to the next item. Very pleased so far, very pleased. The next item on the menu is a uh, it's some kind of crispy spring roll thing. So this over here, <laughs> so this right here uh, is a very interesting item. Um, it's basically, I think a super crispy fried spring roll, uh, but it's particularly big and of interesting size. So we're just gonna go ahead and open it up and see what's inside, okay? All right, here we go, here it goes. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, it's sticky rice inside. <gasps> That's what it is. It's sticky rice and they fried it. Oh, I am so excited to chew into this. Some peanuts in there. There's some yearwood mushroom. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just falling apart. I had no idea. It's like a fried sticky rice spring roll. That's dope. We're gonna chew into it, okay? I can't wait for this crisp. Mm. I'm a sticky rice dumpling fanatic, and this is basically that, but they add on that extra crispiness, that extra fried skin that I love on fried chicken. It's the perfect combination. This is so good. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. This is something you'll be very familiar with. It is a fried chicken burger. We're gonna see just how this compares to the fried chicken burger at KFC and at McDonald's. You guys ready? Okay, so I'm opening this up and... Oh! Oh, wow! Oh my goodness! Look how big this piece of chicken is, you guys! This is huge! That's a huge, thick piece of fried chicken. I remember buying chicken sandwiches from a KFC and McDonald's and just opening it up and it's like a really tiny piece of nugget. <laughs> so this is very exciting. It's, it's, it's amazing. And we're gonna see how it tastes like. food review here so this item right here is another soupy item but I found it very interesting you see here that there are these fried chicken pieces and again they are so big so you can also get the popcorn chicken option here and I'm guessing if you get the popcorn chicken it's not gonna be all batter it's gonna be big big pieces of chicken nugget I mean look at that and this is just in the soup too I'm not sure how this is gonna taste like but let's give it a go Oh wow. Oh my god. That was surprisingly very good. Because the chicken pieces have been soaking in the soup for so long, the outside batter is very soft. It just melted away in my mouth. And you can still taste some of that savory flavor and some of the spices from the chicken. It's quite wonderful. And the soup. The soup is the same soup base as the first vermicelli noodle soup. It's just very light, not too salty. It's, it's good. Yeah, okay. This is pretty acceptable. I think this is for people who are looking for more protein with their soup, you know, less carb. Um, there's also some pork pieces in here. It's quite interesting. There's one more soup though I want to show you guys. This soup is a corn drop soup. So this soup is totally different from the other one. The McDonald's here in Taiwan actually serves this type of corn soup. So I'm very, very familiar with it. I've grown up ordering corn soup at McDonald's, which sounds so weird. Uh, so this is a very similar version, except they added some of this imitation crab like meat here. Mm. Okay, yeah. Soup has a thickness to it. I think there's a little bit of potato in there. I could feel the mushiness. Nice crunch from the corn. This is such comfort food for me and I think for everyone who's eating here, it's a lot of items that we've grown up eating. And the fact that it's along with other Western fast food items that we also love, it's just a perfect combination. I can see why this is so, so popular. Mm. Just the last two items I'll show you. Um, and they are both potato items. So if you guys are like, ooh, do they serve fries here? You know, we, fries is cool, but they have sweet potato fries. That's right. It's quite long, quite thick. I wonder what it's gonna taste like. Mmm, it's good. 
So this is only 19 NT to add on with the meal. Um, if you were to get a bag like this outside in the street market, it'd probably be like 10, 18, 10, 10 NT. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. item is a potato croquette. I knew I had to get this. It's just, look how big this is. It looks much smaller on the advertisement, which is crazy because usually it's the other way around, but it's huge. It's like the size, look at this. And we're gonna rip it open, see what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, this one has such a nice crispiness to it. Let's open it up. Ooh, look at that. Oh, there's corn inside? Is there even, is there minced meat inside or it's just potatoes? I don't know, but look at that. This is an elevated hash brown, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it a go. Oh, oh my god, this is good. If there was a pick between hash brown and this potato croquette, I would go with the potato croquette. It's got such nice seasoning in it. There's a lot of flavor. And of course, the outer crisp. It's just beautiful. It's like light and flaky. I'm a fan. One thing that they have is really special is their hota naita. And it's basically when you translate it, it's tea with milk tea. Um, so it's half tea, half milk tea. Oh, and the, the first thing I was drinking was just orange juice. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so good. If you guys have ever had milk tea, like from bubble milk tea, you add in a bit more of the tea and less of the milk. That's what this tastes like. It's so refreshing. Man, I am so full. <laughs> that was wonderful. This was like a luxurious, elevated fast food experience. I very much enjoyed it. Yeah.